Hey, Matt, the Momo Hunter with McGee Farms, and uh, today is uh, December 24th, 2022. Uh, we just got done with a really horrible winter storm for the last couple of days, and was going to talk a little bit about kind of how we dealt with the animals and uh, made sure they stayed safe. Our main goat pen we've got right here, we've got our our sheep Delilah and then we've got some Sanin and Nigerian dwarf goats in and we just hit like a 30 year low wind chills were negative 30 degrees the last two nights and all our goats made it with no problem now I've done some uh, videos in the past about our goat house and was gonna just basically kind of go over what we did getting ready for this uh, winter and uh, basically, you know, we were bringing them extra food, making sure they had uh, plenty of water. Hey guys. And uh, came in here, besides, uh, besides the fact they've got round bales they have access to, but I'm bringing them uh, flakes of square bales in as well in their house. When the sun comes up in the morning, uh, it comes right into the door. I put skylight panels, the clear, like plastic barn siding in, which uh, warms up their house a good bit, but also brought in a couple of extra bales of straw and just really piled the straw in there. And uh, even when the wind was horrible, you could get in here and uh, you were blocked by the wind and it felt pretty good. So, uh, I mean, they made it through with no problem. Now, we did have an issue, and I'm getting ready to go over there, and that is our one of our goats, we usually don't have them kid out until March. That gets past the worst of the winter. Well, came home on Tuesday. It was 60 degrees. She had a kid on the ground, and uh, we had this 30-degree temperature coming now. Granted, it's uh, Saturday. By next Wednesday, it's supposed to be back up to 60 degrees here again. Welcome, welcome to Missouri. But uh, yeah, we had uh, we had to make sure that you know we were ready for her and make sure she and the baby made it through. And we're gonna walk over and I'm gonna kind of show you what I did. Now we're rethinking uh, our goat housing, and here in another month or two, I'm gonna add a little more. But this is what we got so far, and they made it through the negative 30 nights. So let's go take a look at Mama and her baby. So over here, what we did is we took one of our horse stalls. We basically just have run-in stalls for the horses. They come in and, and feed. But, excuse me, I'm out of breath there. I was just uh, chopping a little water for the horses, chopping some ice. but. Uh, we made a little pin here a while back, and that way if we had to separate the mini horse or some of the smaller animals, we could. And I came in, as soon as we uh, saw the baby, I brought a pallet in, kind of tried to block them off. I was figuring in March we're going to have more anyway, so we'll get kind of two little areas partitioned off so we can at least handle uh, two goats at a time in here. Probably going to make some more. I got a ton of straw, well not a ton, but a two, three bale, spread it around. She's got hay, she's got a heated bucket over there. I also took our extra bales that we had laying around and I lined the walls just to kind of help keep the draft out a little better. I brought a heat lamp in, but I decided not to do the heat lamp because with the straw and everything, I didn't want to take a chance of a fire. But I also went by Harbor Freight. I did have some of the, the skylight panels to kind of help let light in, warm it up, but not all over and it's bored, so it was a little drafty. So I went and got some cheap tarps from Harbor Freight and kind of helped put them over to block the wind for them a little better. And it really, really wasn't bad. Kept coming in with them. And, you know, I take my gloves off, feel them. They felt nice and warm. 
and they made it through the negative 30 temperatures. And I think we are going to maybe tweak this idea a little bit before any more babies come. Probably this next week, I'm going to get some IBC totes and actually put them in here in these little stalls so they've got an even better wind block. And I'll do a video as I'm doing that. But anyway, uh, that's kind of how we got through the cold apocalypse, snow apocalypse. We really didn't get any snow, so whatever you want to call it. But we had our little Oreo here, her little baby. Always happy to see me come out, but they survived the negative 30 temperatures as did the others who are now over uh, enjoying their big bale. If you got goats, if you're looking for ideas for a winter shelter, hopefully maybe this inspired you, gave you some ideas of how to get them through the winter. If you like the video, please uh, consider subscribing. Maybe give us a like or a comment. It helps out the channel and it's always appreciated. Again, it's Matt the Momo Hunter from McGee Farms.